today on This Old Quad. As you can see, we're getting into the rear end today. We're focusing on the carrier bearing up here in the front of the swing arm. Those bushings and bearings. We're going to be changing out the sprocket, chain, the brakes, because we have none. So really, when you want to check the swing arm, the condition of it and everything, you just want to get the rear end off the ground. Lift and lower, and you're looking for any movement inside of here or on the other side. So you can see here, we got plenty of movement. And then to check the upper swing arm or the front of the swing arm, check those bearings. You just want to pull it forward and backwards, very close to the same movement. And you're looking for any play up there in the front. Okay, let's change it.
I'm going to show you how to change out everything that's going on in here in the front of the swing arm. You can see this cup. This cup's supposed to be here, but it's so toast that it's not even staying in place. This is supposed to have a rubber seal inside of it compared to the new in a second. Here's like your bushing spacer cracked. Well, that's the same thing on this side. You can see how it's supposed to be in place. This is what slides in between the frame and the swing arm. So you kind of take this off. You can kind of you can see right here. It's crumbling in my hand. Those are the needle bearings. Trash. So I'm just gonna kind of push this through. This is consider the shaft spacer. What it does is just, it sits in the middle of here, keeps everything in position. So then the swing arm can go up and down. You can see this is corroded, heavily corroded. Bad shape. And then you gotta look inside of here. Now inside here, this should look like a bearing. As you can see, there is nothing left. This might even be a hard thing to get out. So you see that there is no bearings left in here. This is why the whole front of it was moving the way it was, you know, forward, backward, side to side. That's just terrible. And then you throw in a bad carrier and this whole rear end is completely not doing what it should be doing. So the shock was the only thing that was decent, but when everything else is going to crap, your shock is just, it's, it's really not doing what it could be doing. So we're going to, I'm also going to replace this chain slider. This is the time to do it. Just these two bolts. Uh, have to try and get these bearings out. Bearing sleeves, really, that's what's left here. It's not so much a bearing. This is what it should be looking like. Let me see if you can see it. So this is what should be inside See all the needle bearings in there? That's what was all rusted and crumbling in my hand. So we have to get this sleeve out because that's all that's left inside of here. Then our new bushing, spacer, just call it a bushing. This one is not cracked. So you can see, you want to check these things. You want to check them when they're on the bike. Make sure that these, you know, these start to go bad and show a little play and movement before they get to this. This is trash. This is just complete negligence, no doubt. Here's the new shaft. You can see no grooves. Nicely machined. Looks good. All right, let's dig in.
a new one. So you can see how thick that the race is supposed to be. And then here, the bearing race is so worn, it basically became one with the swing arm. So I'm trying to kind of get it to break and then try and chip it out, but don't even really have a lip to grab. Try and even beat anything out. This is gonna be a work in progress here. Don't neglect your shit. Got the sleeve out, finally. Now that was a mini nightmare. Did get these sleeves out. This is what I had to do. Basically took a, just took my Dremel, took a deburring bit. I mean, you saw I tried the, <laughs> the hacksaw. I tried the sawzall and really I came down to almost my last resort of that. And I was able to basically split them and then they broke loose. And they got out, so now all that trash is out. Now I'm gonna grease everything up, get these in. You know, hopefully everything else is gonna slide in pretty good. I did clean this up. So I think with a few love taps, these will get in there. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Pack these up with grease. Get that shaft centered in the bearings. Get it to the point where the bushing is seats. Start to go a little bit more here. on this.
Okay. <laughs> That's how you put that together. Now that was quite an obstacle, but what I was doing there, I couldn't get this cup to, to really seat nicely. You know, now it's on there. What happened was through the wear and tear of this being worn out, it actually wore out the very end of the swing arm. Kind of made it a little bit bigger. Um, or kind of mushroom headed, really. <laughs> anyway, um, I just kind of took a little bit of material off of that and got this to get on there real nice. Now we got both cup seals on. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more. Again, not doing much uh, cosmetic wise, just cleaning it up. We'll get this back installed and then I'll do the carrier. All right, I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. I decided to turn this into a two part video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks, guys.